All right, can everyone hear me? Can you guys hear me? Do you hear the auto tune? Can you guys hear me? Okay. You guys can hear me. All right. What's going on, Strikers? Sun Striker here. <laughs> I love doing that intro with the auto tune. So, what's going on, Striker? Sun Striker here. Today we'll be chatting and playing some Among Us and play some Grand Theft Auto 5. Oh, I see you do not have COVID anymore. Congratulations. But no, really, congratulations. Mighty B? Oh my god. Mighty B was like one of the weirdest cartoons I've ever seen. I've only seen like two episodes of that. Um... Yes. What's wrong with you, stupid <laughs> Yes, of course, you can ask me anything. Have I seen the Garfield show? No, I have not. What's my favorite movie? That would be the How to Train Your Dragon series. And I also love Luca by Pixar. Could I get one of my cats? No, not at the moment, because upstairs there's full of boxes. Okay, let me turn off the odd tune. All right, yeah, so, um, so yeah, the thing is, Strikers, this is going to be the last live stream in this house, because after I end this live stream, you guys will no longer see this room ever again. Because um, on Monday, I'm moving to Orlando, Florida. <clears throat> For those of you who are wondering why I'm moving to Orlando, Florida, um, it's because I've been accepted into a college called Full Sail University. Um, it's an animation college, and I'll be starting in late November. And the, six, the, four, uh, the first six months are online, online classes. I take a class each month for 29 months but the first six months are online and then the other 23 are in campus um now don't worry strikers this doesn't mean i won't have time for youtube i uh, i actually already know the schedule so don't worry i'll have plenty of time for you guys and attending college so nothing basically will change did i watch the new loki show um yeah the new loki series on disney plus um, no, I have not, actually, but I believe my sister has. And so is, so does my, my best friend from Columbia.
Um, when you move to Florida, you can go to Plant City Train Viewing. I'm not sure what that is, but that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited to move to Orlando is because, um, well, mainly to pursue more into my career in animation, but also Orlando is also very known for its um, amusement attractions like Disney World, Universal, Six Flags, other like water parks and all that. It's so much fun. It's, it's basically a fun city, basically. And um, speaking of which, speaking of Disney World, I'm actually going to Disney World um, on the 25th. Um, I'm going with my sister and my brother-in-law. Yeah, we're going to, the three of us are going to Disney World on the 25th. And I come back home on the 30th. But, I mean, even though both Disney World and my house is going to be in the same city. but So, yeah. Um... Uh, did I watch Luca? Uh, yeah, probably like almost ten times now. I love it so much. <laughs> like no, like no joke. I have watched it over and over and over and over and over and over again. I love it. It it never gets old. It's such a great movie. Sing the mighty bee. No. I kind of forgot how the theme song goes, so it doesn't even matter. Um. Uh, let's see. By the way, Strikers, one thing I've noticed is my subscriber rate has really been going up. So I just want to say thank you. And I think it's also because not only the Among Us episode, but it's also that animation I posted afterwards called Luca Meets Sisu. That has almost a million views. I posted that like, like almost two weeks ago, like, like, like a week and a half ago. It already has almost a million views. What's crazy is the rate it went up to a million views was faster than the first Foxy's Family. Because when I when I first uploaded the first Foxy's Family episode, the original Foxy's Family episode, that video got a million views within a month. Like in a month. This video here, Luca Meets Sisu. It's not even a Foxy's Family episode, and it garnered to a million views in just within two weeks. So, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. I guess a lot of people love that. Uh, I guess you guys really love that animation. So, I'll make more of that. But, of course, I'll still always make more Foxy's Family. Um, did it hit one million views? Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Did it... Hit a million views. <laughs> oh my god! It did! <laughs> oh my god, it literally just hit a million views. Look at this, Strikers. Look at this. Here, 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 here. I'll switch to the... My videos. Okay. Um, let me move this. Yeah, look at that. One million views. Let me, let me see if I can increase. Yeah, so you can see it better. There, look at that. 1 million views, uh, 1 million 67 views. It just hit 1 million views. Wow. I actually, I did not, wow. This was at, I actually noticed this uh, last night. Last night it was like at 875,000 views. I saw the view count, I was like, wh what? And I was like, no, 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 I must be, I must be reading this wrong. So I like refresh it just to make sure. And it says, 875,000 views. I'm like... What? I'm like... How? I'm like, I just posted this! <laughs> I'm like... Are people loving this animation or something? And I look at the comments. Some of them say... I did look at the comments. Some of them said it was kind of cringe. But in my opinion, it's not that cringy. But um, but most of them were positive. So I guess a lot of you guys really like this animation. So I'll make more Luca and Sisu. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Last night, when I, yeah, I saw... This all happened when I was in bed last night. I was on my phone last night. It was like, it was like midnight. I was on my phone, and I saw the view kind of... I was just like, what? 
I'm like, well, that explains the subscriber rate increase. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, by the way, Strikers, that's my uh, uh, Alberto Scorfano uh, uh, Sea Monster model. Yeah, I actually updated it a little bit. Like, I made his snout a little longer. Like, when I showed you in that artwork a few days ago, it was, the snout was like, like that, basically. But I extended a little bit more. So, yeah. I'm going to be uploading him to the workshop uh, after the, after the live stream because... See, thing is, after this live stream, believe it or not, Strikers, I'm going to be unplugging my computer and packing it up because tomorrow um, I'm going to be staying with my at my grandparents until Monday once we drive down. Because tomorrow the movers are coming up and they're going to load everything in the moving van. So, yeah. But anyway, I haven't been really answering your questions, so I'm just going to say it now. Okay. Sea of Arts... Acts, uh, bleh, sea of Hearts asked what career I'm pursuing. I'm pursuing to be a chef. No, I'm just kidding. Animation, of course. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but but yeah, I'm pursuing a career in animation. I hope someday to become a uh, like a professional um, animator. Maybe work at a animation studios like. Nickelodeon or Pixar. If I were to um, work in a in a like animation movie studio, I think I would go for Pixar because Pixar makes more like mature animated movies. It's because, like for example, um, some most DreamWorks animated movies, like I don't know, like The Boss Baby. I didn't even see it, but. It's more like silly, like more silly cartoonish. I like more of the mature, like storytelling, heartwarming animation movies like Luca, basically. So that's why I would rather work for um, for Pixar. But if I were to work in like a like a cartoon channel studio, then I would go for Nickelodeon. Um. Let me switch back. Yeah, so we'll play some Among Us like in 15 minutes or so. I just want to chat with you guys for now. And in the meantime... Stay thirsty, my friends. What if I reach 1 million subscribers? Um, I would be, uh, jumping my, jumping my butt off up and down in joy. <laughs> I hope I get to reach. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Speaking of subscribers. Yeah. I've noticed my subscriber rate has been going up really rapidly. I think it's because of that Luca and Sisu video because it, it has to be, I mean, as well as the Among Us video as well, because Among Us is still kind of trending. So, um, not, not as much as last year, but it is still, like, it's still there. So, I think that's what started the subscriber rate, and also that Luca and Sisu animation. That, that took off. I don't know how, I don't know how, but have I seen Rani in the last, you mean Raya in the last dragon? Yes, I have. Um, it is a great movie. It's my second favorite movie of this year. My movie rankings of this year would be number one would be Luca, number two would be Ryan the Last Dragon, number three would be Godzilla vs Kong, number four would be Black Widow, and number five Tom and Jerry. Yeah, Tom and Jerry pretty much sucked. <laughs> yeah, it was not that great i mean there's some funny moments but it's it's not that great honestly K 
can you show us the new house I'm moving into? Um, I'd rather not right now because it's still a little too early, but <clears throat> maybe later. It's actually just going to be a very small townhouse. It's not going to be like a big house or anything. We actually just bought a small townhouse because there was like nothing else. So yeah, everything was like sold and or either really expensive or just sold. So this was the only th option we could find. But however, it's just temporary. Just like how I moved to Orlando. Uh, sorry. Um, just how like I moved to here in Atlanta. I was first living in a small townhouse and then I moved into this house. So that's basically the same situation for Orlando. We're going to be living in a small townhouse for about a year at least. And then um, we'll see if there's any new good houses, regular houses by then. Have I seen the movie Soul? Um, Pixar? Yes, I have seen Soul. Um, I thought it was... I thought it was... I honestly thought it was a little unusual. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was a little weird. I mean, I thought it was a little unusual. Like, it was kind of... It was kind of unique in a way. But I did... I do really love the fact that Pixar um, had an African-American as the lead role. Um, <clears throat> am I going to watch the, the Adams Family 2? Uh, no, because, it's, because I haven't even seen the first one. And I probably won't see the second one too. Because as I said earlier, I don't really like the... I'm not really into the... Like the silly cartoonish goofy animation i'm more into like the more mature storytelling heartwarming animation like pixar um like luca or soul or well i i mean i didn't really like soul that much but it was still good but um yeah i loved luca obviously it's my favorite movie of this year in fact my favorite overall favorite pixar movie yeah uh, what's my least favorite Pixar movie? My least favorite Pixar movie. I think my least favorite Pixar movie would probably be Cars. Yeah. Cars was... I mean, the car tr Cars trilogy... I haven't even seen the third one, so... But the Cars trilogy... Eh... It's okay. It's... Eh... It's not... It's... It's... It's, it's not that... It's, it's it's a little too kiddish. It's not... I just... I never really cared for it. I thought... I mean, I thought it was... It was it was alright. It was okay. Just... Eh, it wasn't my type. Wasn't my... Wasn't something I was into. So, yeah. I think Cars would be my least favorite. Uh, did I see the... Um, did I see the teaser for Pixar's new movie, Turning Red? Yes, I did. Where the girl turns into the big red panda. Yeah, I saw that. It, it looks interesting. So, um, yeah, it's coming out uh, next spring. So, yeah, I'll go see it. Of course. Um, do I like Inside Out? Yeah, I thought Inside Out was pretty good. Who do you think is the strongest, King Kong or Godzilla? <laughs> oh, for sure. Obviously, that that's no que that's no question. That's pretty out there. Godzilla, of course. Now, I'm not saying King Kong's not strong. No, he no, he's he's not he's like if not equal to Godzilla, then like just about equal to Godzilla. I mean, yeah. He may not be the king of the monsters, but he is a king at heart. So. There's a Kung Fu Panda 4 coming out. I didn't know that. I didn't see the third one. I only saw the first two. Um, can I get one of my cats? I would love to, but um, I'd rather not right now because my... <clears throat> um... There's like 
a ton of boxes up there. I'm talking like, I'm talking like upstairs. It's like a maze. It's like a maze of boxes. Yeah. So it would be really hard to get them. What's my favorite animal? Um, if you're talking like, like, well, if you want to know my like favorite mythical animal, then, um, it's dragons and now sea monsters because of Luca. Um, but my favorite real life animal, probably a fox. Um, Space Jam 2 is coming out tomorrow. Am I going to watch it? Yes, I've actually already bought the tickets. My cousin Gazam and I are going to be watching it tomorrow. So I can't wait to see it. It's going to be with LeBron James. LeBron James, yeah. LeBron James is like the... See, I'm not really... I'm not into basketball, but I know that LeBron James is like today's Michael Jordan, basically. He's like, he's like Michael Jordan 2.0. Yeah. And speaking of Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan was the basketball player in the first Space Jam, of course. Who was the first YouTuber I saw? The first YouTuber I started watching was Niga Higa. Um, I don't know if you guys know him. He's that... Um, he made this, like, back, like like over a decade ago he made these little videos called like how to be ninja how to be gangster how to be emo yeah um apparently he has stopped up uploading since early last year for some reason but i was actually watching niga higa earlier today that's actually yeah so um yeah yeah i also watched um other when I was when I first started watching YouTube, like back in like 2009, yeah, uh, 2008 or 9, I was also watching a bit of Fred. I didn't really watch Fred that much. I watched Fred here and there, but um, Fred Figglehorn, the guy with the pitched high pitched voice, um, I didn't really watch him that much because honestly, his voice gets really annoying. All he does is scream and yell, and it gets it does get annoying. Um, but yeah, I watched Niagahiga, and then I started watching like Smosh, and then Ray William Johnson. <laughs> those were like the like the like the OGs of YouTube back then, man. They those were the original YouTubers. Yeah, but now today those channels are pretty much. I mean, some of the, some of those original awesome channels we liked back then, they're either like their channel. Those channels are either dead. Or they're just still going, but just not popular anymore. Like, for example, Smosh. Yeah, Smosh no, is no longer, like, trending as they used to back then. Mainly, mainly because... Um, uh, Ruth Rivas, uh, you ask, Would I rather delete my channel or would I rather lose subscribers? Oof. Okay. Well, obviously, obviously neither, neither. But if I had to pick one, if I had to pick one, I think I would say lose subscribers. Because at least, at least you still have the channel. You can always get subscribers back, right? So I feel like I would rather lose subscribers than delete my old channel. I mean, yeah. God forbid. But God forbid both of those things. Um, you're excited to see Space Jam tomorrow? Same here. I am so excited. Have I seen Ed's World? No, I have not. Um... How's the pool episode coming along? Um... <clears throat> well, truthfully, I haven't even started it yet <clears throat> because, excuse me, I had to um, make uh, models of Luca, Alberto, 
and Julia. And also, I'm currently making the actual swimming pool, so I have to model all these characters and things. So, um, yeah, I'll probably start on it once I move. A yeah, after I move, I'll start on it. Oh, well, actually, obviously, I'll start on it after I move because after I live stream, I'm unplugging my computer and packing it away. Yeah. Would I rather be a dancer or a singer? Uh, well, neither. But if I had to pick, maybe a singer. What's the first thing that I did in my life ever? Uh, cry? Because that's what babies do when they're born. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, but that if you really think about it, that's everyone's first thing they do when they're born. They cry. Yeah. Um, have I ever heard of Angry Grandpa? Yes. And I know that he passed away. So rest in peace, Angry Grandpa. Um, have I seen the first Space Jam movie? Yes. I actually first watched it like about a month ago. I thought it was pretty good. Um, have I ever met Mr. Beast? I have not. <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> I mean, and anyways, honestly, I'm not really a fan of Mr. Beast. So, yeah. Um, no, I have not met Mr. Beast. Um, what about Mark? Mark. Oh, do you mean, have I met Markiplier? No, I have not. But I believe my sister has and my best friend has. But I have not meet, met Markiplier. I did meet Josh Peck um, from Drake and Josh. Yeah, I actually got his autograph as well. That was all the way back in October of 2018. Would I be worthy of Thor's hammer? I hope. I don't know. Um, have I ever watched Family Guy? Um, I've seen a few episodes, but I do love the, uh, running gag with, uh, Cleveland and like, he's in the, he's in the bathtub, like his house, the front of his house gets destroyed and then he falls in with the bathtub. He's like, no, 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 no. I gotta stop taking my baths during Peter shenanigans. <laughs> oh, that's got all my stink of the day in it. That's nasty. Peter, can you throw that towel rack down here? Thank you. Yeah. But anyways, uh, what kind of cats do I have? Um, they are both purebred Maine Coons. For those, of you who, for those of you who don't know the term purebred, it basically means they're one breed. So they're not a mixed breed or anything. So yeah, they're not a mixed breed. It means they're w one breed. And that's um, Maine Coon. So, yeah, they're both Maine Coons. Um, good Peter impression? That wasn't Peter. That was Cleveland. But if you want to hear do Peter Griffin. Uh, hey, Lois. Uh, we went to Vegas. Remember, Lois? <laughs> and then there's Quagmire. Giggity, giggity. Have I ever watched The Simpsons? I've only seen parts of The Simpsons, but I did watch the Simpsons movie. <laughs> my favorite one of my favorite parts in the Simpsons movie is um when he's trying to when Homer's trying to um get to the top of the the dome, um he goes into this shack and he sees what looks what, what see he goes into the shack and there's this jetpack there and you think he's looking at that and going <gasps> And you think he's going to grab the jetpack, but then really he goes up to this little super glue that he puts on his hands to climb up like Spider-Man. He's like, perfect. <laughs> I love that. Um, uh, 
Um, have I ever heard of Yo Gabba Gabba? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, I have. Never seen it, though, obviously. Um, Bessie Higginbottom? Who's that? Wait, it sounds familiar. Who, wait, who, who's Bessie Higginbottom? That sounds so familiar. Who? Bessie Higginbottom. Up! I told you I don't like the Mighty Bee. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <clears throat> do an impression from cat from uh, do impression of cat from cat dog. Um, I can't for uh, one. For for one or one or two reasons. One, it's because, uh, or actually, it's just one reason. My mom would never let me watch Cat Dog. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but no, really, I'm like I'm dead serious. My mom would never let me watch Cat Dog. <laughs> she always thought it was garbage. No, no offense, if you're watching this, mom, no offense. <laughs> but I'm just saying, yeah, my mom would never let me watch Cat Dog. So like every time I would watch it, she's like. Oh my god, turn turn it off. It's garbage. I'm like, have you seen the cartoon? So why do you just assume it's garbage? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, mom. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, since uh but I have seen but I did I, yeah, so I didn't really watch Cat Dog until like much later. Um like when I was alone, when my mom wasn't around. But I've only seen a couple episodes of Cat Dog and that was it. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and not only that, my mom wouldn't never let me watch Ed, Ed, and Eddie either. <laughs> yeah, those were the two shows my mom would never let me watch. She wouldn't let me watch Cat Dog and Ed, Ed, and Eddie. So I've only got to see parts of those shows, not like almost every episode. Yeah. Now, um, my cousin Gossam, his mom wouldn't let him watch Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> but my mom did, so I was able to watch it. So in that case, return the slab or suffer my curse. What's your offer? <laughs> um, but anyways. Um, oh my god, <laughs> guys. I don't know if you, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen this episode of Spongebob um, called, um, it's from season three and it's called Midlife Crustacean where Mr. Krabs starts to feel very old, feels like he's getting old. So he wants, so Spongebob and Patrick do stuff like do some games and stuff with him to make him feel younger. <sighs> yeah, that episode was kind of dirty. For two reasons. One, they will say the word debauchery in it. <laughs> and uh, I'd rather not explain what debauchery means. Basically, debauchery means like doing inappropriate things. But um, um, at the end of that episode, um, SpongeBob and Patrick decide, um, invite Mr. Krabs to do something called. Oh, my God. They decide to do something called the Panty Raid, where they break into Mr. Krabs' mom's house and go through her underwear drawer. If I could just go up to the writers of that episode, I just want to ask them, what 
were you thinking? <laughs> yeah, let alone, how did Nickelodeon let that slide? <laughs> yeah, my mom would never, never let me watch that scene. It's like, she knew the episode well. So when I was watching that episode, like, she was like, when that scene comes, change the channel. I'm like, okay. But, like, see, as a kid, it kind of flew over my head because I didn't really... I mean, I mean, I understood it was inappropriate, but I didn't really care because I was just a kid. So I was just like, Mom, it doesn't matter. It's just a joke. <laughs> As an adult, yeah, I can totally agree with my mom making me change the channel. So, like, if I ever have kids and if they ever watch that episode, I'm going to make sure they change the channel. <laughs> yeah. If I could go back in time to um, and confront my younger kid self watching that episode, I'll be like, listen, listen to our mom change the channel <laughs> yeah but anyways yeah oh yeah yeah the episode is now banned yes i actually heard about that yeah um the episode actually got banned from um well i don't know if it got banned from everywhere but it did get banned from amazon prime video i know that they banned it from there yeah but yeah Um, who's my favorite Looney Tunes character? Uh, there's plenty. I mean, I do love, I do like Bugs Bunny, but I do also love Marvin the Martian. I also love, um, Roadrunner, Wile E. Coyote. Yeah, and, um, yeah. Yeah, I want to. Um, I've been planning to update my Marvin the Martian model. You make me very angry. Very angry indeed. Being disintegrated makes me very angry. <laughs> very angry indeed. My space modulator. The, that creature has stolen the space modulator. That's my Marvin the Martian impression. You are on Mars. Isn't that lovely? Delays, delays. Um, <clears throat> SpongeBob or the Fairly Odd Parents? Oh, easily SpongeBob. Um,. Bunny plays, please stop spamming. Let's have no more mutiny. <laughs> have I heard of gorillas? You mean the band? Yes. Well, it's a well, it's actually a virtual band, but yeah. Um the one who wrote the song Feel Good Inc. Yeah. Have I seen The Good Dinosaur by Pixar? Yes. I I thought it was all right. Uh, that's like one of the first movies I saw um, that had really enhanced animation graphics. So like, like there's this shot with water and I was just like, are, are you sure that's not, are you sure th that's not real? Because that does not look like animation. <laughs> yeah. There's this shot with water. It was like, I think it was like in the beginning of the good dinosaur. It was just a shot of like the ocean or river or whatever. And I was, like, blown away when I saw that. I'm like, are you sure this, like, are you sure this is animation? Because this looks like real life. Yeah. Have I seen Wallace and Gromit in Amazon Prime? Are you talking about um, Wallace and Gromit and the Curse of the Were-Rabbit? Yes, I've seen that movie. Do I voice all of the characters in the SAU? Yes, I do. Or, well, at least most of them. Two, well, three of them I don't voice. And that's Sonic, Knuckles, and um, Scooby-Doo. Those are voiced by two of my voice actors. When is the release date for the pool episode? Well, I haven't even started on the pool episode yet, so I can't really say.
Have I heard the Pat Patrick Star show? Uh, no, I have not. Why do I hate Yo Gabba Gabba? I never said I hated it. I just don't. I just never cared for it. That doesn't mean I hate it. I don't hate it or love it. I just, I just say it's it's it's, it's something that's just I know that's there. That's it. So I don't really care for it. Do I have a switchblade? Um, no. Why would I? Have I seen the good dinosaur? Yes, I just said that. No offense. Do I know rock in a fire? Uh, rock a fire? No, I don't. Um. All right. Um, all right, just a few more minutes and then we'll play some Among Us. Have I ever seen Darman's videos? Yes, I have. I was actually was watching some new Darman videos yesterday. Yeah, so yes, I do watch Darman. He actually makes some really good videos. Have I watched The Barbarian and the Troll? No, I have not. Am I scared of something? Uh, no. But I will tell you guys my biggest childhood fear. You guys want to know my biggest childhood fear? My biggest childhood fear ever was no other than the Dark Lord Voldemort. Like, no joke. When I was a kid, I used to be so scared of Voldemort. Ma ma mainly Voldemort from the first movie where he's on the back of Professor Quirrell's head. Oh my god. That literally scarred me for life. I mean, I can watch it now. Now I can watch it because I'm older. But yeah, when I, um, when I was, um, when I first saw the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in uh, theaters... And I saw Voldemort on the back of Professor Quirrell's head. Oh my god, it scared the living crap out of me. Like, I was crying my head off, burying my head in the seat. I was like wailing. I was so scared. <laughs> I actually didn't watch that scene until 2012, actually. That's when I started watching it again. And that's when I was able to watch it again. Yeah, and the second, so that was the second, so the second time I saw it, I was like, that's it? <laughs> yeah, since I was older, I was 16 then in 2012, I'm 25 now, but yeah, when I saw it, um, the Voldemort scene a second time after like 11 years apart, yeah, I was just like, that's it? I was scared of that for 11 years? What? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But that was my big... So yeah, Voldemort from the first Harry Potter movie was my biggest childhood fear. Um, let me know what your ch biggest childhood fears were, Strikers. I would love to know. Do I watch horror movies? Sometimes, yeah. But mainly, like, I only like watching... I can only really handle um, gore horror movies like, you know, like Friday the 13th or or Nightmare on Elm Street. Those kind of movies like just with like gore and like gore and blood I can handle. But if it's anything like like spooky, like paranormal ghosts and all that hauntings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like like the conjuring and all that. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. I cannot watch that. Um, all right, um, wait, have I watched Ghostbusters or Michael Myers? I've seen both, and I know there's actually a new Halloween movie coming out, uh, so I do want to see that. I actually did watch the first Conjuring movie, but I was only like disturbed for like five minutes because I was like super tired after we watched that movie. Yeah, I saw it like 
like a few years ago, like it was like 2018, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was 2018. Yeah, um, yeah, um, I watched The Conjuring with my aunt. My aunt like loves horror movies, so um, I told her let's let's watch The Conjuring. Yeah, I told her like let's let's watch The Conjuring. Let's see what I can do. I was pretty much closing my eyes throughout the whole movie, like. Because I don't know if there was a there was a jump scare coming up or I don't know what, so um, yeah. So after I got done watching The Conjuring, I was only like disturbed for like five minutes because after that I was like super tired. So so I went to bed like alone that night. Like 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 my aunt and her boyfriend were like downstairs in their basement sleeping, and I was all the way upstairs alone. So. Even though after watching a really scary movie, I was I wasn't that I was only disturbed for five minutes. So because after that I was like super tired, so I didn't really care. <laughs> but anyways, um anyways, I feel like I've been doing a lot of talking now, so let's play some Among Us now. So we're now gonna play some Among Us. So wait. Oh what the Hello, hello, why is why isn't the Oh oh the my headphones aren't on. Hello there. Let's play some Among Us. Alrighty. By the way, Strikers, this is my new Luca background. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Um. Let's play some Among Us. Here we go. I understand. And now we're gonna stop it. All right. Online, create game. We're going to do skilled three imposters. 15 max players. The code is UUOXNF. You watched Luca today. I hoped you loved it. Did I see Willy's Wonderland? No, I have not. If you have not seen Luca, do yourself a treat in a favor and go watch it. I can't sing Cat Dog in auto tune because I barely watched the show. I'm waiting for at least four more people to join. Join the game. Do my auto tune intro. Okay. What's going on, Strikers? So. You know what? Screw it! 
We'll start the game. There are two imposters among us. Doing these tasks all day long, doing these tasks while I sing this song. Start the reactor. Oh no. Dang it. My voice sounds like this because I'm using auto tune. Say Furbies are the best. What are the what is this? The 90s? I'm just kidding. My sister actually used to own a Furby when she was little. I can auto-tune cat dog because I barely watch the show. Thanks to my mom. No offense, mom. No one was ejected, so it skipped to imposters remain. Okay, time to settle down. You can play after this round. I'll let you know. Auto-tune, hey Arnold, I believe there really isn't any lyrics to Hey Arnold's theme song. Just honestly the word Arnold, you know, Helga, Arnold! I cursed. Did I curse? I don't know if I cursed. If I did curse, I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, it didn't curse. Okay. We kicked down an imposter, so one imposter remains. Have I seen Peter Rabbit to the runaway? No, I have not. I haven't even seen the first one, and probably never will. There. Finally.
been defeated by the imposter. Strikers, here's a trivia question. Who was the imposter in the Foxy's Family Among Us episode? Have I seen The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It? No, I've only seen the first Conjuring movie. That's it. Ah, <laughs> yes, Foxina is the imposter. No, I have not seen The Conjuring 2. I've only seen the first Conjuring. And that's it. Oh, man, I am exhausted. Say Chuck E. Cheese's. Where a kid can be a kid. One side, strikers. Gonna turn off my fan. There we go. All right, gonna turn off the auto tune. Excuse me. There we go. I am back. Normal voice has returned. Any reaction to Scott Cawthon quitting? Yes, I did hear that Scott Cawthon, Scott Cawthon retired. So, yeah. There will no longer be any more Five Nights at Freddy's games, unfortunately. Alright, I'm gonna let, um, gonna play another game, um, let's do airship this time. video came up
sorry, strikers. Sorry, that scared you. I'm sorry. <laughs> have I seen Godzilla versus Kong? Yes, I have. And I thought it was pretty cool. All right, let's just start. All right, here we go. Are you, are you kidding me right now? Oh my God. Well, that sucks. No one was ejected. Dang it. All right, we're going to play again, of course. I'm going to wait for other players to join. Alrighty. All right, starting the game again. Oh my god. Well, that sucks.
No one was ejected. What's my favorite music? Um, I do like Owl City, Bastille, Caro Emerald. There's plenty. Let's see what other tasks can I do? create another game this will be the last game silencio bruno yes silencio bruno what's wrong with you stupido <laughs> Dang it. Just spilled some coke. It's all right. All right, let's see if we can wait for one more person. There we go. Three imposters among us.
Yeah, I'm going to be playing Grand Theft Auto 5 after this. Well, I'm going to be playing Grand Theft Auto 5 now, so let's go to do that. Let's go do that now. All right, time for some Grand Theft Auto 5. Let's do it. There we go. The missing kids at Chuck E. Cheese is real. There, I said it. Come on, Grand Theft Auto 5. I want to play as Godzilla. Alrighty. There we go, Godzilla, suits. I'm 
Godzilla. All right, spawned enemy. Mecha Godzilla. I'm fighting Mecha Godzilla. Oh my God, he just threw me. Oh, I killed him. Ha! I defeated him. Victory roar. Let me switch it to night. Who is texting me? Oh. There we go. Burning Godzilla. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'll play as Mecha Godzilla now. And I can fly. Take down the blimp. Oh, 
Well, I'll try. I want to see. Uh, if only the blimp was would. There we go. Now I'm just gonna go ahead. You know what, this is taking way too long. I'll just via or uh locations landmarks Let's see. Trying to find Fort Zancudo. I'll play as Kong in a second. I just want to first raid Fort Zancudo with or as Mecha Godzilla. King Kong? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the army spawn. Freeze time almost.
God, this guy won't... And I'm out of here. And now I'm King Kong. Let's see. Let's, uh... There's no way I can use the axe. Godzilla versus Kong. I'm Kong. Oh! I threw him! Let's see. I killed him! I killed Godzilla! <laughs> Look, he's just floating. And there he goes. <laughs> Long live the king of monsters. <laughs> I won. All right, how about now? Now I'll play as Godzilla again and go against Kong.
won! Kong's dead! <laughs> Victory roar! There's Kong. Now I'll just throw his body. There he goes! There's Kong! Oh, he disappeared. <laughs> And now, for the grand finale, I'm going to still play as Godzilla, but I'm going to spawn King Kong as an ally, and then spawn Godzilla, oh uh, sorry, spawn Mecha Godzilla as an enemy. Attack Kong, I want to attack. Oh, this is epic. Get away from Kong! He's my buddy! He defeat. I think he killed Kong! Oh no! Wait, did he defeat Kong? Wait, wait, who's that? I think he defeated Kong. Oh no! Oh wait, oh there's Kong! <laughs> oh, I thought he was dead! Kong, my friend, my ally, we have won! Yeah, I think Mecha Godzilla probably threw Kong far away, so I thought he was dead at first. Kong, how about we just mess around here? Thank you for that, Kong. Just a little atomic breath in the air. All right, strikers. Um, I'm gonna end GTA for now, and for the last twenty minutes, I will talk to you guys. So yeah.
Back to talking. I just want to chat with you guys because I'm going to be ending the stream in 20 minutes. All right. Um, Yeah, I gotta say that was fun. Have I ever stayed awake until 6 a.m.? Yeah, there were... Yeah, I've, I've stayed up, like, some nights before, like, like, without even sleeping. Yeah. There's been nights I've stayed up. Not that I'm saying that you should try it because that's not good for your health. So, yeah. I usually go to bed by like a like 11 to or midnight-ish. But but some, but a lot of you guys are probably very young, so I would highly recommend you guys go to bed at an earlier time, like nine o'clock ish, or or ten at latest, or well, or well, if you guys are very young, then probably nine o'clock. Am I gonna see the Snake Eyes movie? Nah. Probably not because I wasn't really into G.I. Joe, so. Do Toy Bonnie's voice? Hey everybody, my name is Toy Bonnie, and uh, you know my older brother Bonnie scared me with a confetti gun. That's my Toy Bonnie impression. <sighs> oh, man, I'm exhausted. Hmm. <clears throat> Do I speak other languages besides English? Um, not really. I mean, I do know a few Spanish phrases. And I do know some phrases from Urdu. Because Urdu is our cultural language. Yeah. Doctor, are you sure this will work? Once this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious... I've only seen... Um, part... Like, the opening of... I've only seen the beginning of Back to the Future. I've never seen the full movie. One set strikers. Uh. 
There we go. Okay. There. Just had to fix my mic. There we go. Um, oh, you were referencing TF2. I think you were referencing Meet the Medic, I believe. Um, am I going to see Jungle Cruise? Mm, I'm not sure. Do I like cold showers or hot showers? Oh, obviously hot showers. What type of headset... Uh, do I use, um, it's the, it's a razor headset. If you can see that. Would I rather eat cold pizza or hot pizza? Well, obviously hot pizza, but I can eat cold pizza once in a while. Do I love hot tub? Yes, I love hot tub. My uh, cousin Gossam actually used to own a hot tub, no joke. But once they moved up here um, to Atlanta in 2014, um, they had to leave their hot tub behind, unfortunately. Have I seen the Barnyard movie? Uh, no, but I have seen episodes of the Barnyard show back at the Barnyard. I've seen a few episodes of that. Um, let's see. Can I make Bosch's Petty Time 2? Uh, if I get the chance, maybe. Please do a dab. There. Yeah, I know. It was a movie before it came a show. That's the same situation with Jimmy Neutron. It was first a movie, then became a show. Um, how long have I been doing animations? Um, for about seven years now. Which sequels do I think are perfect sequels? Well, there's How to Train Your Dragon 2. That's a perfect sequel. But then again, nothing's perfect in this world. There's no such... Th if you really think about it, there's no such thing as perfect. There's only best. Like, you can only achieve the best in something. There's nothing... There's no such thing as something without flaws. Um, what Freddy Fazbear's map did I use in the old in the Foxy's family videos before they moved into the new house? Um, I. I forgot what the map... I, th I think the map is just called Freddy's, so I don't know. Um, I'll have to see later. Have I driven any NASCAR car? No, I have not, but I've been to a NASCAR race before. Did I break a car engine? No. Why would I? Oh, yeah. I can't believe she's gone. Yeah. What's so great about dumb old Texas? What did you just say? Texas is dumb. Don't you dare take the name of Texas in vain. 
So we can't say anything about dumb old Texas? No, you can't. Oh, well, can we say people from Texas are dumb? No, you can't say nothing about Texas. <laughs> Did I, do I watch Rick and Morty? No, I don't. When will the next Fox's Family video come out? Well, it'll be after I move, obviously. So, yeah, here's the thing, Strikers. This will be the last live stream um, that I'll do in this house. Because I'm moving to Orlando on Monday. So, the next live stream you'll see will be in the new house. So, and as I said, it's not a huge house. It's just a small little townhouse but it's just temporary until we find a really nice house in orlando which video did i enjoy editing i did really enjoy editing the among us episode All right, about nine minutes, and then I'll have to end the stream. Have I seen the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie? No, I have not, and probably won't, because I was never interested in Mortal Kombat. Um... What was my favorite part of SpongeBob SquarePants episode Survival of the Idiots? Uh, this is probably everyone's favorite part. It's who you called Pinhead. <laughs> that cowboy face, that cowboy human face he does. Um, what's making you move to Orlando? Um, for those of you who didn't hear, who weren't watching earlier, the beginning of the stream, um, I've been accepted into a, a college called Full Sail University. I'm going to be uh, doing a computer animation program there. Uh, it's a program for 29 months. The first six months are online and then the other 23 are in campus. Now, don't worry. This doesn't mean I won't have time for you guys because I know the schedule and I'll have plenty of time for you guys. So, yeah. What's 9 plus 10? 21. <laughs> yeah, I know that meme. But, of course, the obvious answer is 19. I'm Dirty Dan. I'm Dirty Dan. Yep. So, I'm going to make animation better before, um, if I go to the, if I go to the university, um, pretty much, yeah. Which one of you fellers is the real dirty dad? Uh, I am Hot Wings. All right, Pinhead Larry, now you get yours. Ah! <laughs> what do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. It's like transforming into a Super Saiyan instead making animations. Um, that's it's kind of an unusual statement, but I yeah I guess you can call me that. I call it that, improving my animation skills. 
I mean, that's basically what Super Saiyan is. Enhanced power abilities. And hair changing color from black to gold or yellow. Did I drive? Do you mean, oh, do I drive? And my cousin Gossam is calling me. Hey, Gossam, I'm live streaming right now. Can I show you something really quick? Yeah, but my fans are my fans are listening right now. It'll it'll literally take like maybe thirty seconds at most. Okay, just text it to me, Gossam. All right, fine, fine, fine. All right. Here we go. All right. Bye. Okay. Sorry about that, Strikers. But as I was saying, yeah. Did I drive or do I drive? Yes, I do. I have... I've had my license for like four years now. So, yeah. Have I heard of the virus? You mean the coronavirus? COVID-19? Yes, I have. I've been aware of that for a year and a half now. Um, have I ever been Rickrolled? Oh, yeah. Yeah, plenty of times. Yeah, I'm sure everyone has. Yeah, I did not get my um, driver's license until I was 21. 21? Yeah. Hey, there's other people who haven't gotten their license until much later. Like, for example, I heard when Lady Gaga turned 29, that's when she got her license. So I'm assuming she was, she had a driver take her. Do I prefer rap or rock songs? Mm, I'd say a bit of both. Have I seen the Lord of the Rings trilogy? No, I have not. I've never seen any of the Lord of the Rings movies. I mean, but I have seen the first Hobbit movie and the last Hobbit movie. So uh, I've seen Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, and Hobbit, Battle of Five Armies. I haven't seen Desolation of Smog. So, um, yeah, those are the only two Lord of the Rings movies I've seen, but the original Lord of the Rings trilogy, Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers and Return of the King. Yeah, I have not seen those. All right. You thought of something funnier than 24. Let me hear it. 25. And then, like, Mrs. Puff comes up, and she's like, that's enough, young man. This is your first war uh, This is your first day, so I'll let you off with a warning. As for you, SpongeBob, I expect more from a good noodle. Pay attention. Yes, Mrs. Puff. Is this the part where we... Oh, yeah. Is this the part where we start kicking? No, SpongeBob, that's a chorus line. Oh, kicking? I want to do some kicking. Why you? Whoever's the owner of the light... Whoever's the owner of the white sedan, you left your lights on. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. 
<laughs> the trombone. <laughs> Over time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So this is the thanks I get for working overtime. Overtime? All right. What, all right. Last question, and then I'm going to have to end the stream. All right, final question. Um... Have I seen the Jurassic Park trilogy? I have seen uh, the first movie. Like I've seen part. I don't think I've seen the full the full um, first movie. Um, but I've seen like most of it. But I have seen. Um, but I have seen Jurassic World and then Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. I can't wait to see Jurassic World uh, Dominion. Anyway, Strikers, oh wait, what movie do I love more, Ryan the Last Dragon or Luca? I would have to say Luca. Yeah, I love Luca. But I do love Ryan the Last Dragon, but I would have to pick Luca. Anyways, um, that is all for tonight, Strikers. So this is the last live stream in this house. <sighs> I'm really going to miss this house. This was, even though I've only lived in this house for about a year, yeah, it's still a great house. So this is the last time you'll see this room on a, on, on a live stream. So the next live stream I do will be in not only in a different room, but a whole different house and a whole different city and a whole different state altogether. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Strikers, um, before I go, I'm going to give the shout-out of the night. And that shout-out goes to... Jacob Zamaripa. Jacob Zamaripa. I, hope, I really hope I pronounced that right. I'm so sorry if I did not pronounce that right. But Jacob Zamar, Zamaripa, you are tonight's shout-out, so congratulations to you, man. Anyway, Strikers, um, yeah... Can't um can't wait to live stream again. Um, I'll let you guys know once I start on the swimming pool episode of Foxy's Family, which is the next one. Um, I just got done with the Luca model, so can't wait to start. Now I'm just modeling the um swimming pool now, and then I'll start on the episode. Um. Anyways, Strikers. Um. Yeah. Next live stream, I'll be in. I'll be living in Orlando, Florida. So. Say goodbye to this old house now, because I'll be moving on the, on Monday. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in Orlando, Florida. And as always, this is Sunstriker, signing out. Bye-bye! Good night, Rebels. I mean, I did that same mistake on the last, last live stream. Good night, Strikers. <laughs> All right. All right. You know what? I'm just going to shut it down now. I'll see you guys in Orlando once I move to Orlando. Good night, Strikers.